five. <laughs> Mini what? Magic the Gathering players ask the question. Mm-hmm. When will Alpha Wookie get laid by his Asian lover? No, no, no! The we are not bringing up <laughs> no. any of that. We are not bringing up one iota was... of my personal life. <laughs> Shut was supposed your to be mouth. <laughs> Fun fact: It was supposed to be tonight, but no longer. Uh, he wanted. He wanted he... to. Sh- <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think Alpha would. <laughs> Pop the blood muscle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm Angel Martinez, and I'm the guest, no. and I speak Spanish. Oh, God. oh yeah, Moz is back. Yeah, Moz is uh, back. Moz is Moz, the real how guest it, today. How does it feel to finally crawl out of the pit? Ugh. Gay. Gay. Awesome. Also, did you send a link to the community? I have not. I've you thought about do not do that. doing it at all. No, so let's get this on. Pori, Pori Azard. All right, hold on. Hero, when did when did sharks get arms and hands? They didn't. Hero, uh, what's going on? It's called um, Japan. I, I think I think it I think it was an evolutionary choice. Uh, that way they could. Yeah, so, up, but then but then now they I can't swim. I don't think nuclear radiation in Japan uh, is a choice. <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't think it's a uh, choice. Either. It's their choice to accept and not not let him <laughs> let not let themselves go extinct. I've already lost what this podcast is supposed to be about. Uh, okay, it was guys, supposed so, to be on something, guys. I'm now known through the poll as the best TCG creator ever. No. Oh, so hello, that's, your that's a lie. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sideboard Podcast. Sideboard Chat Podcast. Wait, I'm are we host. are we just doing it now? Yes. Whoa. We've I thought been we started doing it already. We've been yeah, we've doing been it. started, but we never really did an intro. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, oh, I did the man, intro. Did remember? The did we players start? ask. When is Alpha Mini Wookie? Chaos Galaxy players okay. ask. This is about question. to be podcast number one <laughs> all over again. Zach actually build a better game all right so no. th- i'm just gonna say this right now angel was supposed to be our guest but we have the lovely mr cure on and thank you so much for getting on the podcast welcome mr cure i i am angel martinez no he's not i am the guest uh we had <laughs> questions ready when it was angel but now we do not so let's just be... ask Kiro a bunch of questions about his ugly face. <laughs> no, no. Dude. Kiro, how does it feel to be so ugly? Like, how does it feel to be the ugliest creator like on the HTC? Why service? do we have Moz on the podcast again? <laughs> I don't know. You're the one that invited him. You're the one that was like, uh, yes, the plague. OK, so no, the real the real question, though, is, is why hands so big in your game? Like, why are hands just <clears throat> outrageously large? Bruh, your hands are huge. You know, I like to, to really bring focus to the hand with four <laughs> I feel like if you bring attention to the fact that he beats his meat, then he doesn't feel as awkward about it when you ask him about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I get you, I get you. What even is your game? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Your game Actually, is, um... Was it, what was it, what was the fake one that you, that you changed your name to? I forget. Oh, um, it was, was it like, Sin- uh, a Stitch of War. Oh, Stitch of War, yes. Stitch. Was that really it? Yeah. Where's your channel oh, wow. now? I can't find it. Do you uh, not have one? It's Kira, it's right? That's the name of... Mm-hmm. Actually Where have a, I guess I have an actual, like, oh, serious question I have to it ask. Needed. Oh impossible. yeah, impossible. Yeah. That's that's uh, a, that's not possible. What? What? J- just utterly false. What? <laughs> what me? Yeah. Yeah. You're lying. A serious question? <laughs> okay, can y'all just shut up and like, let Kiro do all, right. all the talking? No, but uh, Kiro. So um, <coughs> we uh, I, I, I've spoken to you quite uh, quite a few times, especially because you you are part of the um, Oversoul. Um, Discord, uh, and you you do say that you are working on two different uh, types of car games. One that's supposed to be more kid friendly, and one that's supposed to be, I think, a bit more complex. You said, uh, do you want to talk about that? 
Uh, sure. Uh, so I I had a old TCG that I had created in a span of about less than a month, actually. Uh, and it didn't turn out wow, very that's well. Fast. The premise was kind of cool, so I wanted to revisit it. But at the same time, I also wanted to make a TCG that be accessible to where I could play with my younger cousins because I don't really know any around my age that actually stuff in me. Do so you I, uh, not have a local game store? I do, but uh, I stopped going there for various reasons, one of which being uh, somebody stole $40 from me. So, Ooh, whoa. That's par for the course. It's not, not stealing if you just lose a game of poker. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it is stealing, though, if you drop it and then somebody walks up, picks it up, and then runs off. <laughs> it's really not, though, man. You got to learn to not drop your money, man. What were you doing with like, 40 bucks on a table? Uh, I was playing a game of Magic. Were it you gambling with Magic? Because... <laughs> 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 what, wait, what, if you were gambling with Magic, what kind of deck were you running? Uh, well, it was a popper deck, so I thought I had chances no matter what I ran. So I ran the $7 uh, Dimir Control. Yeah. <laughs> Dimir Control. Wait, wait, that's what you were playing? No, not really. I was joking. No. Oh. I don't even remember what I was playing. It was probably Affinity. I play that a lot. Now, you know, if you're playing popper, you're supposed to play rats. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Holy cow! <laughs> Who would have thought? But, um, That's a very mysterious and elusive creature known as the Maws. <laughs> Get out right now! <laughs> <laughs> we have no. two views, guys. So yeah, I love all the two yeah. people who are viewing. <clears throat> it's it's me and like somebody else. <laughs> I'm also viewing, so uh, does this mean there is no one viewing? I think so. It's okay, people will view this later. Yeah. Uh, so wait, if no one's viewing, does that mean I can No, please No! Stop. But Kiro it does uh... not mean literally anything you were about to think. <laughs> okay. What, what what are the names of the two games that you're working on? Yeah, seriously, Kiro. Okay. So don't uh, have my first game is going to be called Rivals of Shiora. Mm -hmm. And then the other game is going to be called uh actually the other game does not have a decided name at the moment. I told you. But I know you said I think uh you told me once that it used to be called Faction Wars, but something mm -hmm. happened with someone else has that name, so you're not going for it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um so Rival of Shiora, that's the child friendly game, right? Uh how yep. what are what are you uh doing to, to make it like child friendly? Is it uh easier to make it easier for uh young ones to uh get into? Uh well we play I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I still mm -hmm. want there to be some level of complexity, yeah. though, for people who want to potentially get competitive with it. But I want it to be extra simplified to where people, uh, even at like the age of like six per se, uh, could be able to understand the game. Dude, what the Ooh. heck? I told no. Who is <laughs> playing Clash of Fucking Clans? Who? <laughs> That's my brother. Oops. I'm muting you. Your brother. No. Quote, unquote, I'm muting you. To get that as no. <laughs> no. 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 I wasn't expecting that. Was Who are you oh talking to? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I thought that was so that was slow. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I thought that was slow playing Mario Maker. No. I thought it was too. No, no. 
I don't even have my switch with me right now. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're supposed early. to play it's Mario too... Maker every podcast. You're supposed it's to play Mario Maker on the Wii the U. It's too oh, early man. in the podcast. That was amazing. I it's thought never it was too early. Us. I thought it was way too early to be yelling at Sloth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's never. What are you talking to? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, oh man. So, <laughs> so Kiro. <laughs> How you uh how you doing with No Nut November? Uh, Literally, thinking, guys, is that like? Uh, All right. Is making it a little difficult. That was not I am turning Kuro up related. to maximum volume, and Maz, you are going down to fifty. Do you like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I feel like with each podcast, the bro slowly descends into madness. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Hero. Like there, there will permanently be a vein protruding from his forehead from the sheer anger. Hey, sweet potato has joined. I don't know who sweet potato is. Hey, sweet potato. They said the kid sounds so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> sweet potato. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I know who sweet. <clears throat> Welcome to the podcast, sweet potato. Sloth, what did you do? He died. You changed what? your profile pic. Yeah, I changed my profile picture. It's a, it's the ghost fish now. It's a Maybe ghost fish now. Leave oh me. wait, what happened to the, uh, to the, the buffo? To I buffo? dare you abandon the buffo. I'm not abandoning buffo. I'm the creator of buffo. You, Fuck how you. Do you. How do you ban the buffo <laughs> in front of the creator of the game the buffo is in? What? And in front of the game's best, most, 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 uh, uh, uh the, the best player in said game. Oh, you mean Kuro? You, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, so he actually admitted it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I mean, he has he has yet to. Well, he's played Astrum, but it was it was a close game, I would say, against Astrum. Not yeah. the first. Game. That was before the nerf. Mango was talking mad shit about you, Kuro, before we got you on the podcast. He was. <laughs> he said that he hates you and that he wants you to die. Well, that yes. which I don't agree with. I don't agree with that, that either. Very lovely. And you're very beautiful. He oh, thank you. But I no no homo. I feel I like say I, I hate no. you. No, can we let the what? guests talk? Shut up, no. Oh, no, the guests sorry. can't talk. Literally, I'm <laughs> talking the least of <laughs> anybody. Angel, been... listen, Maz, please, por Dios, let Kiro speak. Kiro's so the other day. day, right, I went and I dabbed oh a child God. in the Catholic Church, and when that child came up to me, he said, "Yo, can I, can I, like, can I uh, schlub on, on the flan?" And I was like, "Nah, fam." I mean, yeah. we run nice. a TCG podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we're the most <laughs> influential. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Symphony, Symphony added fun. all of us, like, congratulations on having the most influential <laughs> podcast in all of the TCG community, and it's like we're doing this with it. Yeah, but you have the, like, <laughs> best TCG creator on the podcast, and that's Oh yeah, you mean, awesome. uh, you mean me? Thank you. No, I was actually voted number one. And a, yeah. and a poll that you made where the only candidates on the poll were Moz and Moz. No, it was Maz and other. No, it was Maz. No, it was Maz and it other. Was Maz. Stop. Dude, phones. Maz classifies as another. What do you classify as? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's take some no. rain in here. Okay. Do we want to talk about a TCG? Let's. No. Yeah, I mean, we were. We, we Kira was what? talking about his until yeah. your little brother asked who you were talking to. <laughs> we're, we're so sorry, Kira. All right. <laughs> yeah, please, Kira, tell us about your game, man. Uh, I what should I say? The yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Well, like, so you're creating. Uh, are they this? So, for this game that you're creating, you're creating two no. games. One yes, that's more child games. friendly. One that's more complicated. Are they the same mm -hmm. basic idea? One being no. More... <laughs> Mars, are you stupid? Please shut up. <laughs> Well, I mean, Moz See, would be correct see. in saying that no, they are not the same base premise. Uh, they play very differently. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Mango would. I'm sitting or lying in the parkways right now, my dudes. 
Uh, Let Kiro speak. <laughs> Let him sing. He knows about some of the differences. Don't worry, I'm only on five percent. I am battery. muting him. Oh, I'm muting oh my him. God, little boy. <laughs> Maz is muted. He's not pissing. <laughs> what is he saying? Hmm? Is Moss saying anything? I don't think so. I muted him. <laughs> okay. We'll give him. Um, we're going. Can... We'll give him five yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll time out. Already. But, uh, <laughs> his, his continue. What were you saying? Yelling, die! <laughs> I no. Why are you the most influential podcast. Funny. Okay, TCG I'm community, leaving. everybody. Because I have four percent. All right, Moz. Which stinks. We love Bye. you, bro. Later. That's homo. All oh by angel. God, I'm leaving. The beast is back in his cage, everyone. Every applaud. Oh, <laughs> Finally. Yay! Mars. Just oh, so we Mars. can disprove <laughs> him. Oh. This is gonna be a long night, boys. <laughs> I I did not think in a million years that we'd have to throw all the questions out the window. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> But what were we uh, saying before you uh, got really interrupted? Um, Kuro's uh, talking about his game. Remember. <laughs> uh, you were talking. You were talking about. The- <laughs> you were talking about the differences between your games. Okay. So. Hmm. All right, could you ask a more uh, specific question? Uh, both Sloth and Sin Mango have tested both games, so you should know questions. Okay. Out of both games, which one do you prefer? Honestly, I would prefer the used to be Faction Wars game. Uh, I feel like that one uh, requires more strategy and plays uh, better, I'd say. Is is that uh, the one where you actually have to like build a path? Yeah, right. It is. Well, let him explain how it works. Yeah, fuck that one. People oh, who oh, are oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, so, in my more complex game, I have a grid of thirty-six uh, card-sized spaces included into the game. Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Um and. Basically, how it works is you uh, each turn you add new areas to your side of the playing field as you try to make your way over to the opponent's side of the field while also stopping them from getting over to your side. Yeah, because you're trying to take out their capital, which is basically like a king in chess mixed with a card game, a kind of weird combination. Mm. Uh, start finishing some more cards. Now you say uh, the that the king was like a a king in chess. Um, so w- would would you say that your game is somewhat like chess in a way? Or... Um, I feel like I I don't I feel like I wouldn't say that it was like chess. Mm-hmm. I try to make it like chess with the same like strategic kind of uh gameplay but it doesn't really feel like that at the moment Mm -hmm. Uh, and i can't really think of any ways that i could make it more like chess without directly copying it all right is it evokes that same kind of strategic feel when you play it then i think like Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> he kind of just cut out there. Oh, I <laughs> said. Then I think. Oh, my you're goal, fine. Uh, if <laughs> uh, I was saying that if I evoke that, like if the gameplay evokes that same sort of strategic feel, then I feel like my goal was achieved. Hmm. Okay. Um. I actually did have a question for uh, what was it? Rivals of Shiora, which is a child friendly one. Okay. Um, how how does it play? Like, 
Um, because you do say it, it sh that it wants, you want it to be very uh, simple, very easy for children to get into. But like, what what makes it easy? Well, um, this game I've taken a lot of inspiration from the Adventure Time TCG card wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue and, the pig. Um, when I when I saw the game, actually, I thought it was very interesting. Um, so I wanted to add in some new like mechanics and rebalance the game to where it would actually be competitive, playable, but also mm -hmm. because it was so simple that uh, I'd be able to at the same time make a game where children play it still have a which was the whole uh, premise of actually making a second game alongside my main project. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys have an, um, Rose, do you have a question? Well, um, kind of? Okay, so are you guys okay with uh, Kiro specifically? Are you okay with like? Do you play Magic? Yes, I do. How do you feel about um? How do you feel about the Field of the Dead? Like, do you know? Um, okay, so okay, like. I probably shouldn't have said I play Magic because I haven't played in a while. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um, um yeah. There's this one card called Field of the Dead that just got banned. It was uh, it was ruining the standard, and basically mm -hmm. what it is is it says Ew, standard when Field of the Dead enters play, uh, or any other land for that matter, uh, as long as you control seven or more lands, you create a two-two zombie. And basically what mm -hmm. you're doing is just making this land deck, and you're using this. Uh, artifact creature that can, uh, as long as you can pay Wooberg, you can uh, search for uh, certain permanents. So, okay. like, uh, well, yeah, so Golos Tireless Pilgrim, you can pay, like, Wooberg and exile the top three cards of your library, and you can play them this turn without paying their mana cost. Basically, the whole thing is just getting so many lands in play that you've just got two, two zombies all over the place, and it's unstoppable. Like, it that sounds beautiful. It was for, yes. like, a second. And then it became nasty. I'm going to put it in Oversoul. Thank you. Um, sure. And it's not good. going to be nature. Go ahead. Why oh, not? Man. Because Kira, Kira loves nature, and he hates the fact that uh, I nerfed it in my game, and, well, I just want to get on. All right, so Kira, how exactly did Mango nerf uh, nature in his game? Uh, well... Yeah, uh, how he how he nerfed nature is he basically removed all of the removal that nature had and made it like worse <laughs> to the point where uh, by the time you're actually able to play it, you don't really need it. Yeah. And then there, well, except for one a fight, one a fight is still really good. So what? Yeah, uh, one for, uh, I because I I know that Bros doesn't really know. One a fight is a uh. A turn four uh, spell for nature. Uh, what it what it does is you choose one of your souls and which is the creatures in my game, and then you choose one of your opponent's souls and you make them fight. Uh, right? I, I it used to be level two, but now now it's a it's a four cost, uh, and so it it's still pretty good. Uh, or is it? What what he's? Huh? Or is it? No, it's still pretty good. But like, how do your players um, feel about it? Say what? But how do your how players do... feel about it? It would have been better off as a two cost in my. <laughs> I bet it would. <laughs> but it will, uh, nature player. Well, <laughs> so here's here's a question then. Where's the line that you draw as a creator? Like, how much feedback do you accept from your community about your game before you change something about your game? Like, I know you have the final say always, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> who do you trust more in this situation? Your gut instinct that something needs to stay the way it is, or you know everybody telling you to fix something or put it back or whatever. I think is that you should always be open to. Oh wait, is this to me or to Kiro? That's oh, what to... I was about to ask. <laughs> well, to Mango, but like anybody who's got the answer, hell yeah, answer it. I feel like you should always be uh, open to to your community, to whoever uh, really plays your game. 
um because it really does uh, affect them um but it, in the end uh, you you do have you do have to say so you could be like zach and be an asshole and not listen to anybody <laughs> but i i think you should um still yeah, entertain it you know what i mean yeah like for for me um cuz cuz my my problem right for nature is that uh i'm a bit biased you know whenever it comes to these types of games like magic force of will or stuff like that i i tend to play nature or green whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. uh but you know it 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 can it can really really help when you need when when something really needs to be balanced out a bit more uh so i feel like you you should uh you should listen to to them you know you shouldn't really disregard it yeah I feel you, but so <clears throat> there's a okay. So there's a problem with a card right now called Oko uh, in the uh, Magic scene, and it's a Planeswalker for one, a blue and a green, and his plus one ability is target creature becomes a three three elk with no abilities. So. Basically what it is, is because he has green, you can get Oko basically on first turn, and, on uh, uh, second turn, I'm sorry. You can get Oko on second turn if you play your cards right, and because there's blue combination, you know, there's counter and all that, but the point is, is his plus one one, his plus one will completely neuter your opponent's strategy, and the whole community is like, uh, asking why this card didn't get banned why magic why wizards like let it slide wizards was saying like oh we want to see how the standard does and everybody already knew that this card was going to break standard so like what do you think causes wizards to be so careful about what they do ban and what they don't or at least what anybody should do like how careful do you think you should be in the process of banning or limiting cards Hmm. I feel like in the process of banning or limiting cards, you should always try to look for a another option. But at the same time, I don't feel like errata's on cards is a is a good idea because then uh, people's older uh, people's older versions of the cards are no longer technically legal because they don't say the updated text. So mm -hmm. that's the, that would be the situation where I'd see banning and limiting be a uh, viable option. Uh, but I'd, I'd really say uh, if you can avoid banning and limiting stuff, then I'd say go for it. But if you absolutely have to, then at the same time, uh, that's probably the better option. You absolutely have to. Like, let's take Pot of Greed, for example. From oh, Indiana. sure! <laughs> that card, uh, that obviously needed uh, a ban or limit because of it was just an automatic draw to, uh, no downsides, no nothing. Wait. And then they tried <laughs> no, I thought Pot of Greed was the one that turned all your dark tokens into white tokens. What? That might no, that's oh. Cosmic Appropriation Spell. Never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry I left. Uh, I took a fat piss, and uh, I got passion fruit and a donut. So, nice. like, why didn't you just hook up the microphone? Right. Because I'm on my computer. Yeah, but hear me out. Thank you. Why didn't you thank piss you into much. the microphone? Just thank you. <laughs> just, just God bless. Uh, my thing on, on, on like, Ben... Uh, Say that again. My my thing about uh, banning, banning, and or limiting things. Uh, I I I'd rather for a game not to have that. It it, it I don't know. Just 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 for me, it it feels that it feels like um that if you have something that that's kind of like a bit too too like bad, you know, that's really bad. Um, you should feel. In my opinion, I feel like that you should make uh, make more like leave it as is, but then just make everything uh, make make something uh, that kind of supports the other stuff. 
but doesn't work well with uh, the said thing that's broken or whatever. Hmm. If that makes sense, so uh, just, because that's that's just create an environment it can't with... thrive in. Say what? So like create an environment that it can't thrive in. Yes. Hmm. Because that's actually what I wanted to do, but you guys. <laughs> we ruined it. <laughs> you you yeah you you ruined. It. To break the game so they can't break it. <laughs> so and then one philosophy. But okay. But how do you? F this is a weird one. But when a card gets banned, how do you think the artist feels? The artist? Yeah, like the person. So like the person who did Field of Dead, they made the card, and. You know, they got commissioned, they, they were given the money, you know, that kind of thing. Do you think that person cares that nobody is going to see their art in circulation anymore? Do you think they take pride in that they were on such an overpowered card? Do you think they're like, oh man, I got, I got my cards out of the game? Do you, how do you feel like artists who are just like, who do common art and like I nobody mean, sees their art and nobody plays it? I mean, I'm not going to lie, like as a... So... You're cutting out, brother. Are you what? Uh, as an artist, you know it would, you know, for me it would feel bad because uh, one thing about art is like we, we make it because we want people to see it, you know, we want people to like it. Uh, but you know, like you you making that money, then you make that money, dog. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, there, there, I feel like it does kind of like just just hits you, <laughs> kind of hurts you a little bit. Yeah, yeah Dang, I'd be pretty man. fucking angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, like, like the fish I made recently? Yeah, um, you know how time-consuming the fins were? If that shit got banned, like, and if it was, like, a professional-ass game like Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd cry. I'd fucking cry. <laughs> Except- I mean, be happy- be happy Bufo got nerfed and didn't get banned. If you yeah. are a Yu-Gi-Oh artist, you know that your card is not going to be played, because everything <laughs> gets banned in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you put yourself in that position. You basically go, I'm going to get thrown out like garbage in the next week. I mean, first of all, you don't even get credited mm. in Yu-Gi-Oh. No? <laughs> yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh does not credit their art. Get out, really? Yeah. Dude, look at Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They Hold don't up. have that. Hold that Let me look this up. Hold, Hold up. up. Uh, let me bring up my Yu-Gi-Oh cards right now. They're like <laughs> right here on the show. Are they, they do not are credit the, the artist. Some are on the shelf. I I have some penguin boys on the shelf. Hold on. Oh, that's my credit card. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh wait, 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 He's wait. Right. Wait, wait, wait. He's right. Wait. What? You bastards. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh Even I started doing that shit. What the that fuck? How could you do that? How could you just... Ah, oh, dude. And Yu-Gi-Oh! art is... I don't know what to even say about it. Like, it's... It's surreal. Some it's, is good, some is bad, but it's... It's, it's, it's still kind of... It kind of gives you them, them, good old, them good little feels. Oh, damn, I have an old-ass card. I have fucking copycat. I almost... Oh, dude, I remember copycat. <laughs> I feel like more people could be Yu-Gi-Oh! artists. Like it, it's yeah. not hard to be a Yu-Gi-Oh artist. Not, no offense. Um, I because yeah, you could just do anything. <laughs> you I mean, just, sometimes they have like really good art. Like they have, I think it's you a just do whatever art. acid dream you're on, and then you draw like a little portal thing in the back. Bro, <laughs> just draw a fucking robot. That's it. Or, yeah, yeah. Just, just draw a robot. Just, just draw a robot, and then put put some like squiggles in the background. Some squiggles. Just draw a bunch of cockroaches. Tell me I'm wrong! Tell me that I'm wrong about the Yu-Gi-Oh! backgrounds. Oh, wait. Shulk time is sneak dissing in the chat. Hold on. Wait, what is he saying? <laughs> What's up? He said, he said, I heard Cairo came out the other day. Did Cairo? Hey, <laughs> yo, Cairo Shulk from, from uh, Shulk Shulk time. Time. I Can I, can I say this? Girls the other day. Note to self, his name is pronounced Cairo. Can I say something real quick? Uh, I'm sorry to bring up my game. You know, I heard that Shulk time uh, uh, barely plays uh, uh, Glass Galaxy anymore, so like, if you just want to play Oversoul and just like beat Cairo, because I'm 
I am getting annoyed with like oh bro you can you can play game. bizarre nature you can play, <laughs> you can you can play my uh very uh, uh, him, shitty please. unfinished game <laughs> okay sweet potato I, I will tell you once you on and you I will opponent. tell you twice I will tell you thrice I will tell you as many times as it takes your game is perfect the way it is stop making cards and never make more cards again Silence. <laughs> Silence. I'll never stop until I at least Mm-mm-mm. make a case of ugly archetype. Do it. Do it now, then. All you have to do is take a picture of yourself. I demand a case of the beauty. Case of beauty. Not oh, maybe. Beauty. Case That's... of beauty. It has, to, it... it has to work with ugly, honestly. What would it do? I don't know. Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, I can make a card called, like, beauty products. Uh, uh I mean... <laughs> Uh, it's just, uh, it's just meta. Discard I guess. all case of uglies from your deck. Summon a case of beauty. It's just, it is, it is Exodia. It is, Exodia. <laughs> it is Exodia. Case of beauty can be a business card. I feel that like utilizes cases of ugly. Uh, I feel like case of I did, beauty should I didn't be. Think of the uh, ugly rancher. <laughs> I feel like case of beauty should be uglier than case of ugly though. Yes. <laughs> like literally, just case of ugly with a wig on. <laughs> just more like a like too much makeup. Too but, much uh, makeup. Ba- back to the uh, the backgrounds in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. Uh, that, that's my approach, honestly. I just do like whatever looks good with the archetype or whatever the fuck the card is. That's just my approach. Same. I'm not gonna lie. I have like a lot of like somewhat, I guess, uh, abstract backgrounds. Uh, it yeah, works uh, though. Like it, it does. It really does. Unless if it's like an entire setting, in that case, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to say one thing. Sweet Potato says Yu-Gi-Oh cards look weird as fuck. Well. They some do, but then there are some Yu-Gi-Oh art. It's amazing, like the ghost, uh, the ghost girl uh, stuff, like Ash Blossom and, and stuff. Mm. Like those look really nice. Um, yeah, and uh, totally prophecy. awesome. Yes, yeah, totally awesome is amazing. Mm-hmm. I think it's a prophecy totally. card where it's like a demon or something like that, and it looks like something right. that came I'm straight right. out of. Uh, uh, magic to gather. I think it's a prophecy card. I don't know. So, why do people hate magic? Like, I, okay, so this is a weird thing. Uh, I won't defend it to my death, and I act like I get angry when people insult it, but, like, I really don't care. But, like, I don't understand why... It, it, okay, I understand why Mango thinks the mana system is bad. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But like, what other reason is there to hate magic? I have a reason. I anybody, feel like... anybody at all. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. I feel like that magic just um, because when I try to get into it, you know, there's the, the, the it just magic kind of gives off this vibe, you know, vibe from the players, but it kind of gives off this this vibe like they're kind of like uh, a high class. Uh, stuck up type of vibe. If if you if you understand what I'm trying to say, really, like like, like they're the like they're the high class powdered wig kind of people. <laughs> hmm. If that makes <laughs> sense, that's the sort of vibe that um, Magic is all. And then there's Yu-Gi-Oh that that's kind of just less like that, like way yeah. way less. Like like if you're if you're uh, familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, like if you were to picture five Ds, uh, Magic are the people on the top. And then Yu-Gi-Oh players are like the people in the in the satellite. Hmm, that's an interesting way to look at it. And like I said, like I'm not sure if it's uh, if if that's that's an intentional thing that that um people are in the magic in magic together. But that is a sort of vibe that I got off. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Mm. 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 Oh my. <laughs> Funny joke. Yeah. Cool kid says, um, uh, I don't like Magic's realistic art style. Uh, no, okay. Yeah. Okay, not boring. all. Not all of Magic's art is realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ma- Magic mm-hmm. has good stuff, but sometimes it has bland stuff. Yeah, like yeah, I, mean, you're, I love you're not their dinosaurs. Always gonna have gold in uh in any form of media. Like, always gonna have yeah, yeah. Nisa's breasts are not realistic. 
<laughs> Nisa, I have to see this. Way. I have to. <laughs> Nisa, yeah, like, look at the video game genre. Minecraft is a diamond. League of Legends is dirt. <laughs> okay. Well, I I'm now just looking at pictures of Nisa, and I'm thinking, hmm, these are normal large breasts. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to see like what was the problem here. Um, There's no problem. Literally no problem. Yeah. Wait, is this well, really like, complaint about? I, no, there when isn't. When it comes to character design, I've made like, up oh, a I complaint. Could, Never mind, I'm done. Dude, I just <laughs> found something on Hisa that that I didn't mean to like find. Mm. <laughs> Are you? Okay? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Are you going to send <laughs> gonna, it in the DMs? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send it in DMs, my guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think no. I think you'll like it, man. Like I know how much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think I think that you would truly what the appreciate. Heck is this? The <sighs> what? It's gonna. It's you know sending. Don't worry. It's sending, my guy. It's it's sending. All right. So I feel like DM shock time. A bunch of pictures of traps. <laughs> what? Totally did you, uh, did you get it? Like, I feel like it's needed. All right. So how do you guys feel about? Oh my gosh. So how do you guys feel about um the let me, how do I put this? So, you ever just, like, look up stuff, like, maybe it's Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe it's Magic, maybe it's Pokemon, and people have made fake, like, just, like, their own fan-made Pokemon cards or whatever, and they've just put, like, Rock yeah. Lee in the frame, and they've, like, given him moves <laughs> and stuff like that. How do you feel yeah. about that? Like, I hate it. That's fucking awesome. I love it. I love the stupidity of it. Honestly, uh, I, I used to do that shit. <laughs> I hated that, honestly. I, I also like, I really did. I feel like there's no effort really being put in when you're taking someone else's template and then someone else's artwork and then shoving them together and calling it a card. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, what do you mean? Like, actually trying to make a card out of it or, like, meme type of cards? Like, if you're actually trying to make a card out of it, then I feel like that's... Most like, of them are trash, yeah. right? Oh, okay, then, yeah, never mind. But if you're just doing it, like, for the memes or just... <laughs> Or, like, you put, like, a Naruto character in Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, that's... I don't feel like that's a good thing. Uh, but I do you, remember... Like, your own characters, oh, my bad. For interrupting. No, my bad, I'm sorry. No, no, you, you can go. Keep apologizing. Please. What, does that turn you on? Yes. Alright, I'll, I'll keep apologizing. Stop, why are you trying to turn me on? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, we have just gone over that it's No Nut November, and you're just like... I know, I know. Speaking of No Nut November... Luke is making it hard for me. You guys survived the first day? Yes. Yes! Are you okay? I didn't, because I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> and literally the first thing I did in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Sloth? I failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh oh uh do, do you uh did you see the the nisa image i sent you bro yes god it's amazing bitch. Right? it's not even good it's <laughs> ugly like it's not like the it's not like the art that i'm like stop sending it to me but in the back of my head i'm like you know i this is i but like but <laughs> those it's are okay. those are what we call Eldrazi. Nice. Who? Who? I think it was slow. We know it was slow. <laughs> That's amazing. What did I do? You know what you're doing. What did I do? <laughs> I'm so confused. Cool kid said, um. I lost no 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 not November. I lost day two. But today is Shh, stop! I will <laughs> mute you! I will mute you! Sweet potato uh sweet potato says that uh I like magic cards because of its realistic art style. It's what makes you want to collect them or play with them. But it's too complicated as a game, especially for beginners. Their dark cards are actually very original. They look so sophisticated and original. But like, 
I don't okay. I don't understand the uh, the whole um, not easy for beginners to understand, especially with just like you could throw. Like, don't people know about the entry decks? Don't people know about like the like the pre cons and stuff like that? That it's just really easy to get into the game. Like, I I don't understand it. I mean, it it, it depends. Like, let's say you're getting in manner. There are so many different mechanics. I I say just like. So, the thing is, is, you can't just... The reason magic works, even though it's got so much stuff that it can do, is you're not giving the player a copy of every card magic has ever done. That would be overwhelming. What you are yeah. doing is you're giving them a select strategy, a select thing, and going, but this isn't all that magic can do. But this is a sample of the things that you can do in magic. So, I feel like... Sometimes the pre the the planeswalker decks miss. I feel like if you want an example of a planeswalker deck that hit really hard, at least for mm -hmm. me, was the Dominaria sets. Like they did uh, Chandra and Teferi. Yeah. I you think they did well. I think they did well. I still have cards from that deck that I will run in my current deck. Like I got a. Um, Oh shoot! I forgot her name. Uh, Merwin. I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. Like they gave me a Merwin the Nurturer, which is like an elf that's that that's a one one elf for three mana, and it says every time an elf enters play, put a one one counter on Merwin, and you can tap her mm -hmm. for green mana equal to the number of uh, uh, power that she has. So like yeah, yeah, she's great. And they gave it to me. They gave me a Grun the Lonely King, which is this really cool, really cool gorilla. That's, uh, it's a 5-5, five, five, but you can kick it, uh, which is pay more mana, and if you, uh, yeah, 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 pay, pay more mana when it comes into play, it makes it a bigger gorilla. It makes it, like, a 10-10 gorilla, but, yeah. may I see this gorilla? Oh my gosh, Grun the Lonely King is so cool because his passive is, if he's attacking alone, his, att his power and toughness double until the end of turn. That's amazing. If you hey. kick him which would be for like 9 mana. You swing for 20-20 as yeah. long as he's attacking alone. Just like <laughs> putting trample on him makes the game over. Hold on. Uh, Grun. Well, can, I, the... can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, so, because I'm, I'm not really like... He's four cents. <laughs> he's four he's what? He's four cents. <laughs> That's so sad, but like, I, I love him so much. I love Grun the Lonely King. Like honestly, I tried oh, I tried to make a fling deck out of him. Uh Ooh. Yeah. Like imagine him swinging for like a 10-10 and then you hit for 10 and then you just fling him. It's 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 <laughs> What quoted. is fling? Fling is uh an instant for one in a red and it says uh sacrifice target creature you control and then deal damage equal to that creature's toughness to any target. So basically what you yeah. do is you just pick them up and throw them at a wall. Like you just whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> you throw you just throw them at them. Yeah, you just that's the idea. It's just like you chuck grun. But like nobody could ma really make grun fling work. I think people wanted to make grun fling work, but it just didn't. Uh let me see. Uh I'm Who's gonna... your favorite planeswalker? Me? Yeah. Um I like I think Teferi's my favorite, honestly. The fairies. Stop what it. What about you, Kira? Do you have one or? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say probably Liliana. Yeah. Liliana. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like. I kind of like when I found out more of her story. I kind of like too, because I I don't know too much um into the lore of magic, but as for but uh, as for character designs, I really like um. Uh, what was her? Uh, Yangling? Mm -hmm. Yangling, I think she's a water plane swag. I really like her character. But Whoa. as for a story, from what I do know, I do like Lilion. But why? What? Oh, I, I meant about Yangling. Oh, I don't know. I just like, like the way she looks. She looks like when you those old Kung Fu flicks and you have like the <laughs> evil sorceress. And she's like badass, and she's just kicking everyone's ass. Like I don't know, she just gives me those old vibes. She makes me yeah. when I was a kid. You Wait, know? is she is she the uh, the green blue? Is she? Uh... No, she's. I think she's just blue, 
And she has like a she's like Chinese looking kind of thing. Does she does she she's do wearing scroll like a kimono? Stuff. Does she do stuff with scrolls? I don't know. Hmm. I know they made a uh, uh, a planeswalker deck with her. Did they? Mu Mu Yang Ling. Oh. Yang Ling. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. She's uh, she's yeah. mono she's mono blue and she can like give all creatures minus one and everything loses flying until end of turn for like plus one something like that. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I, I really like her design. So uh, cool. Grun is so Grun is so cool. I wish. I wish he got more love. He's such a lonely guy. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I also have another... Uh, no, go on. Oh, and I got a Gilded Lotus in that deck. A Gilded What's Lotus. A, what is a Gilded Lotus? A Gilded Lotus goes for like, what, $6? Something like that? Uh, it's it's uh, for five mana. It's uh, an artifact that you can tap for three mana of any color. It's huge ramp. It's... Uh, not a staple, but it's like it's pretty good for commander. Yeah, gilded lotus. Oh, I'll, I'll totally <laughs> use that for uh, for oathbreaker. Hmm. Yes, especially since uh, the Ajani. I think a six loss. Yeah. Dom Dominaria went so hard, dude. Dom Dominaria is my favorite plane, specifically because uh, when I w when I was starting my game, I studied. Magic the Gathering, the Alpha set, uh, the first set. I studied it yeah. so hard. I wanted to see. I had never played Magic before. I wanted to see how everything ticked and like how they started it all out. And every time they reprint a card from Alpha, like uh, they recently reprinted Righteousness, uh, which is a uh, an instant for one white that says target defending creature gets plus seven plus seven until end of turn. So it's. It basically goes, this creature lives, that creature dies. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. And it, it was just like, there's no reason to reprint that. Uh -huh. But they did. And it's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I want to ask you about, because uh, you, you, consistent, you consistently uh, play Magic, right? You still continue to do it today, right? Yeah, yeah. Most of my, like, so, uh, most of my friends are my friends because we play Magic together. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask since you know the the set um the Eldrain set, uh, I remember yeah. seeing uh, uh one of the uh, little commercial things they did for it, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, are is there a gingerbread legendary creature? There is not. Damn it! Is I, I is know. it is it a thing? Is it a creature type? Um, and I go tribal. No, you can't go. Oh, hold on. Wait! <laughs> Wait! Hold on. Okay. I have vague memories of this. Hold on. Uh, ginger, bread, man, uh, lyrics? Sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Food golem. What the spot? Okay, I'm only getting... I'm getting weird stuff now. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm not pulling up anything. <laughs> I'm not pulling up anything promising. <laughs> what are you with you find? <laughs> like somebody's taking Gingy uh -huh. from oh, no. from Shrek and just made oh. him into a legendary creature cookie. He's a twenty. <laughs> Send that to me. He is Please. a he is a twenty twenty for Wooberg, and it says Gingerbread Man cannot attack or block, and you tap him to destroy itself. That's amazing. It, there's no point. Gosh. <laughs> but, like, it's obviously a meme. But, like, how good of a meme? How good? Um. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Here. I'll s send it to you. For the lols. Dope. I'm doing it. What else do we have to actually talk about? Because we, I feel like we just went way off track. But then again, Angel was supposed to be here, so... I'm really sorry for doing this to you, uh, Cairo. That's no, alright. Oh my god. <laughs> <It's just laughs> I love this. This is amazing. And they don't have any any cookies in, in Magic right now? Because remember the uh, 
the uh uh what's it called uh the trailer commercial thing right yeah the trailer with the with the woman with the gingerbread woman and the gingerbread man all right so here's like, the thing i think that was just an advertisement for the food archetype um, that's so stupid i i because so, that's a disappointment um Food is just, you know, it's an artifact that you can pay to and sack it and gain three life. It's pretty disappointing, uh, like, on its own. But there are, like, a lot of things that interact with food in the set. And so they make it a little more exciting. But Gold I want a gingerbread creature race. I, I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Bro, do it for Oversoul, please. <laughs> oh, Definitely. yeah, for Oversoul. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, right. It's gonna be for bizarre nature. No, it's gonna be when when there's enough cards. Would you guys like to try to see if Highlander would work well with Oversoul? Highlander? Yes, Highlander. Like as in cool. as in the movie? No, we <laughs> stupid. The format. Uh, you know what Magic has. Uh, oh. And I don't mean Highlander as in like EDH. Highlander is like I guess Canadian Highlander. What's Canadian Highlander? Hi Canadian Highlander is somewhat similar, except you don't you're not uh restricted Explain the to whole the... Explain the whole ass thing to me. <laughs> you know <laughs> why you put me on a spot I like I don't know what Highlander is. So do you know what uh do you know you know what is right no elder dragon highlander it is commander okay it's a, it's, uh that's 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 what canadian highlander is the only difference you're not restricted to the um to what the colors of your commander is ew yeah that's gross i think there's some other stuff too but uh that's that's basically the the idea of that's gross. It's it's interesting. No, it's, it's that, really that means anybody can run blue. <laughs> mill, mill here. Let me just mill the top card of your mill. But this is supposed to be a dinosaur mill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, do you want to do something? Uh, Let's let's classify some some HTCG creators as different magic colors. Okay. You, you down? I I think that Bros Let's is see. a is a is is a uh, green planeswalker. Uh, do you guys know this? I told you guys right the story about uh. It irritates me that magic colors work so well that they certain personality types pick certain color combinations i have been told more than once hey are you a mono green player <laughs> and it makes me mad because i'm not that co I, i'm complicated okay <laughs> complicated. I'm not <laughs> no you're pretty you're pretty you're pretty green you me. can't just define me as green green giant that's oh amazing. That yeah, is honestly, it's all it's happened like three times. All different people, different places. Just like you play mono green, don't you? It's like fuck you off. Green, it's don't five million you. years back. But, um, can somebody, can someone please explain this to me? I do not get the joke. What? What? Twenty five million years back? Yes. I tell uh, him. Is he? Is Moz back? Uh, oh shit! He's it. back. I thought I thought he got kicked off. God is dead. <laughs> Slow. Yeah, um, right as I say, right as I make the gingerbread, say God is dead. He comes back. This is proof. <laughs> oh my God. Vote for no, Trump. but what was your question? You were asking Trump. about Trump. Vote for HTCG Trump. or something. Like that. Vote for Trump. All right. So how Vote would you class? What color Vote combination would you classify? I'm muting Vote you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, may I say this? Definite, he'd be, uh, I think it's called Boros. Oh, uh, red, red, white. white. Yes, red, that's white. infinite. 
Yeah. Oh. Ma Maz is gone. Yeah. Maz is a blue player. God is. Is he? Not that anymore. <laughs> Maz is a blue player. I mean, he's annoying. I. <laughs> oh God. He's a, he's a Demir. He's a Demir. <laughs> Uh, I Miles is Demir. All right, so what? <laughs> what makes him Demir? I don't know. He just seems like a little snake slithering about. I feel like he's. I feel like he's Gruel. I feel like he's red green because <laughs> he just runs around practically naked and just like hates all type of society and just wants to run into the chat and start. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds like Kiro's little brother. <laughs> It can we get what? can we get Kiro's brother on the podcast? Hold on. He's a little Kiro, he's a give me your brother. <laughs> give me Dude. your brother. I will sacrifice him. Man. Okay. Uh, you no, know, I like Kiro's brother. Fuck you, Moz. So, <laughs> so what you, okay. You. What about what about uh what about Astrum? Astrum. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, so I don't know enough about him. Oh, Sir Godala is in the. Podcast. I, I'm saying I would. I would think Astrong would be like Azori. I was thinking that though. I was thinking Azorius, white blue, just like mm. absolute control. I don't know. Yeah, that, I see that. That's not. That's not like trying to say anything about it. Like, oh, my brother loves Azorius so much. I feel but like he hates. I feel like no Sir <laughs> is, is Wait, it? guys, guys. Okay. Sir Godala is, is Sir Godala. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue. That is true. They go to lot. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> what did he say? Kyra's brother Kyra's is mono brother red. Is mono red. Full, Full swing. swing with no, no regrets. <laughs> um, excuse me, guys. I actually um, I wanted to tell you about my mental health issues. Um. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's role play. Let, uh, Mango, you you be the dad again. Oh no. I be who? You be the dad again. The dad? Okay. I don't think it was Kiro true. can be the son. Kiro can be the son. Are you ready, Kiro? No, I don't want to be your son. No, can I be Kiro? the son? Like Are, you ready? Ready? Are you ready, Kiro? You ready? <laughs> Not after Johnny, what I Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I gotta be right back. My, Did you my, my eat sugar? Gonna beat me. No, Papa. <laughs> Are you lying? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ow. Whip. Whip. I'm not doing Crack. that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Open your mouth, kill! <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of his mouth open. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> no, you gotta do it right. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, man. At one point, I yes, found this you YouTube do. channel that was dedicated to just posting videos of pedophiles that he had found on TikTok. Oh, no. Yes. Excuse me. What? And it was all just Johnny Johnny. Yes, Papa. It was just oh very That's creepy. Man. Johnny Johnny. <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> um, I'm st okay. Okay. Another thing. Uh, uh, I think that. Uh, how do I say? So bros, you are mono green. Why? But if as as a as a planeswalker, probably be Tiefling. You're used. Tiefling. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, the Tiefling looking mother. Uh, uh Tibble. 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 Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's you. Gregory Bruh. Stevens. Bruh, I was so shut up. I was so happy. His story when I... is badass, though. I was so happy when I pulled Tibble. Um. Uh -huh. From uh, War of the Sparks, because when I heard that every pack was coming with a Planeswalker, I was like, I need every e a full set of Tibbled. Just I hope you guys is. know my real name. Did is you get it, Ben? I only have one Tibbled. Oh, Damn, is he good? I have a uh, actually. You know what? For the Tibbled's history as a Planeswalker, he's not bad. Question mark. His passive is that uh, you can't. Your opponent can't gain life, and he. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, and he just produces uh, devils that blow up. So, like you know, when they when they die, they deal they, damage. To you or to the opponent? Opponent. That's not bad. It's not uh, bad. Sir Gordon, I actually uh, like this... Tibble. Like I like his like because I think he was like. He looks badass. Yeah, he is. But why? Oh, you just why can't make a good planeswalker for two red mana. 
you can well but didn't they make a really good planeswalker with for two mana though yeah yeah later? um uh what what's his name it's a it's a gruel planeswalker it's red and green and it was up to like a hundred and seventy five dollars at one point so why didn't they why don't they just try to mess do you know f you know fuck, fucks with Tybalt again you know i don't know bro like Stop also with the, the community word. like think like yo i want my my guy to be good you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah mm -hmm. like, i'm gonna say the n-word now how many pl copies like have they only made simple planes walk they've they've made two planes walkers Besides the War of the Spark ones. No, that's it. Or, or... Besides besides wow. the War of the Spark and the yes. dual deck, that's it. No. Man. They need a... I hope All they right. do... Everybody what if be an, quiet an for just a sec. Tibble? Everybody be quiet. Okay. I've been quiet. Go ahead. Say the N-word. No. No mm. is the N-word. You can't say no. What the heck? Are you talking to yeah, me? I'm... I'm not allowed to say no to Bros Inc. anymore because No, you don't name... understand. I give you consent. It'd be rude to turn it down. Exactly. Who are you talking to, my guy? He I was talking to Moz because he was nonstop just saying, I'm gonna say the N-word. I'm gonna say the N-word. Like while we're just talking. Wait, did he join back? I have him muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he's <laughs> <He's been back laughs> Wait, that's 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 pretty legit. He didn't know that. I could have been talking trash about him. The whole time. Honestly, though, yeah, like... Yeah, actually, Mango, I was talking trash about you and your family the entire time. I mean, joke's on you. We're related. Are you? Haha, uh, yeah, we actually no. are. No, we why are. Do you we think, uh, like a... Why do you think I'm autistic? You, you know, that's, that's the oh, thing. Is Sin Mango is actually um, my mom. Uh, he does. He suckles from my breast. Yo, and... yo, yo. You guys know <laughs> Combo Master, bruh? Um. Hey, yo, 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 no. you guys, to the beach guys. the other day, and I found I found the female version of me. She was basically Literally, black. But she was just you. like me. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Moz has this uh, shit post uh, section of the channel, and he like the first thing he puts in, he's like, "Hey, mute this channel if you don't want to hear me talk about random, exaggerated, or maybe fake shit." And I just like instantly muted that part of the channel i was like i do not need any of this and then i checked it out this morning <laughs> and he's just like okay so i literally met girl me today and it's really weird it's literally me but a girl and black just two moths it just sounds gross he's just like it, well she's black okay, who I'm cares sorry. you just you're like and she's <laughs> black well, because she Excuse is. Excuse me, we have a black man in the, in, the, in, the, in the podcast. Please be respectful. Yeah, you guys uh, are really offending me. Yeah, yeah be black. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Gold a lot is asking what his color combo is. Yeah, that, that's what I was is trying it? to say earlier, but uh, He's red, you know, blue. no one wanted me to talk. He's red, blue. He's it? Why is that? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, because he seems like, like a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like when it's Tulare, funny because it's true. When Tulare and Tudor like put out that video on how to identify yourself as a different uh, Ravnica guild, and he's like, uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> he's like saying something like, um, "Do you want to build a high-powered uh, hydrologic tower to a supreme being with uh, that is a dragon that's a million years old and has an infinite IQ?" He's like. I, I don't know. I'm a human from Earth. How can I possibly be equipped with the intelligence to answer such a fantastic question? He's like, but... Okay, so guys, basically, the other day, um, a month ago... Nobody cares. Me, You're a smart ass. No, me and, me and Cool Kid... So, like, the other day, Dan, right? You know, uh -huh. Kind no, of guys, asleep. So, I'm yeah. tired, you know? So, when I went to go Tricky, lay down, you know? Sir. Yeah, Mango. Thing, right? Cool Kid walked up to me in his slap. Game. Game. Yeah. So, and, and then this other done. thing yeah. happened, right? Like I met a unicorn, and, yep. and I rubbed its horn, and, and the unicorn, he made some weird sound, but I continued to rub his horn. I decided to go faster, you know, just to see what would happen. He kept making weird noises, and then all of a sudden, some nanny comes shooting out of the Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. Boy. <laughs> I would just like all of you to know, I gave up a night with a bomb ass agent for this. Um, actually, he's lying. Well, 
it was I have an Asian that I'm the uh, black girl that I, I have after on this. The I I regret not canceling. <laughs> picked up on my he picked her up on my street. That's really tough. I only know that because it's my sister. Nice. Can I leave the chat? Oh my. Okay. Okay. So let's actually think of something. Uh, okay. A topic that so, she discussed. No, actually, a topic that I was trying to discuss, you freaking pissers, was the card Shut game that me mouth. and Cam and Cool Kid are making. It's called Combo Masters, and I'd like uh, to talk about it for Go a ahead, Mr. So, oh, let's still so, talk about our own you know card what, games. You know what, hang on, hang on, hang on. Dude, Since I we, we are the about... ones that run this podcast, but why haven't we really talked about our games that much? Because Ma said not to! You I did didn't say, that, say not to. Yes, you you said it'd be hypocritical no, of I us. Didn't. Yes! No, I never said that. I just you did. Said, I said that when we have guests on, we should let them talk about their games. I then shut your mouth and let Kiro talk. Ours. Kiro has been the most Kiro quiet are... guest we've had. He already did. I don't really Kiro, have do a lot you want to talk to about your game. He only has Nobody hard. cares about Kiro. This isn't even my game. This is technically Cool Kid's game. So just shut up for a second, you pisser. Okay, so Cool Kid and Cam and me. Um, are making this game and it's called Combo Masters and the point is that you make combos um, and you become the master of making combos and we need help with playtesters. Please, I love you. Um, so basically, we only have like 11 cards left to make. And uh -huh. Why do you also, need our help? Any of you, we don't need your help. We just need your the help play with test. the playtesting. So you do need our help. But actually, like, if anyone wanted to like do a crossover or something gay like that, like, you know, just hit me up, man. <laughs> okay. Twin so, flower fluff. So basically, though, very, very up. fun game. And I think the concept is very unique because on your turn, you play either attacks or actions or items. So you have one yeah. item slot, and then you can play like up to three of either attacks or actions. And so you can do. Feed me. No, 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 no. That is its head. Why are you picking it up by its head? No, 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 no. no. Why are you sitting on it? Are you trying to suffocate it, you freaking idiot? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Amazing. Sorry, that was that was emergency. Bro. That, no, I'm okay. sorry. That was the most interesting part of the what you've been saying. So, so yes, yeah, so you can either play attacks or actions, and then like at the end of your turn, like instead of like where there'd usually be like an attack phase or something. There's a, you can either, um, like, actually choose to play the chain or, like, not. You can just wait. So you can have, like, a huge chain. And then, so we were playing, me and Cool Kid, but it was my first time playing. And Cool Kid, like, basically came up with the rules. And I got, like, my big heavy-hitting combo out for 25 out of 35 health on mm -hmm. my second turn. Nice. And it was literally the most lucky thing ever. I am changing the name of the podcast to literally do not watch this. <laughs> yeah, this podcast sucked, by the way. I was, like, listening to some of it. It was utter garbage. And then also, another topic that I wanted to discuss is the fact that it's okay to be homosexual. What? Just kidding. Okay, so Oh, I was about to say, because... That's some groundbreaking stuff right there. Yeah, that Basically, is does anyone remember when I got banned? How fun that was? I actually kind of left I, at you. I, yeah, I don't honest, really want to like, discuss it and be like, oh yeah, Sin is gay because he banned me. No. We Are you trying to like, discuss about that again? in well, full, that's, that's and it was better well, that you weren't in the room while we had the conversation. Okay, well screw you. Freaking pisser. Anyways, it was honestly not that bad, and I really didn't miss the community at all because the community is basically just for a literal hours. Pile of Shut garbage. your mouth, you idiot. Like no, honestly, like wh how how much has gone on today in the general chat? Like literally nothing productive. I kind of. I am going to. Ask to you guys I'm, about that. I'm going to unlist no, 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 this no, video. For real, for real, though, like. like... All right, um, uh, you guys. It, it seems you guys have uh, started uh, pissed off Cool Kid by being homophobic. Oh snap! Cool Kid, nobody likes you, Cool Kid. You're not even cool. You're like, get you homophobic. No one's homophobic. Crash. It's just that no one's very sensitive. Thank you. 
Um, Yo, honestly, if we can't cool, laugh cool about kid. these things, then cool kid, we Mango's can't gay, grow. Sloth is gay, and Angel. I keep calling Ma's Angel. I'm by. Get it right. All right, fine. I was no. I mean, you I can't get actually... it right. You can't get it right. You won't decide. <laughs> <laughs> you decide. That's amazing. I actually struggled with that at one point. Your bisexuality, yes. No, like my my actual like sexuality. I didn't know if I was gay or not. It was really an awesome time in my life. Wait, 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 cool kid. If you're not gay, then why? Then did it's you get none it? of your business. Yeah, cool kid. Go make some art for combo masters before I have like way more art than you. You freaking pisser. Okay, so guys, the sideboard podcast is literal garbage. Do not watch it. This, you know what? It is. We've got a great. Po- uh, shut up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a good podcast when we when we have topics written down. Um, yeah. Honestly, Man, I, I, this one wasn't bad for the fact that we we did talk about T. Did a we? Lot. We we actually yeah. did. We I talked think, a lot about TCGs. I we talked about ban-, ban lists and a whole bunch of stuff like. Yeah, that's okay. True. So I. An actual productive topic. How about we talk about inserting big booty <laughs> anime girls into your game to sell it? Is actually okay. a very cheap tactic. Okay, I actually, like that topic. I it. like that topic yeah. a lot. No, 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 Ash, yeah. you stay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that topic a lot. How do you guys feel about oversexualization of characters in games, specifically just to sell? Specifically, Astrom Cross's game. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> does, Ast- does Astrom do that? <laughs> Hold on. Never no, actually, guys, you then know, you can't say we're, we're like, we're like bros, I think, kind of. that could be how puberty works for them. All right, explain to me what's over-sexualized about my non-existent game. Wait, who? No, go ahead, boss. What? Do it. All right, but hear me out. A strom lingers on tasteful. What happened? Do you, do you agree that a strom's like, quote unquote sexy arts they like, linger on tasteful? It's not on I tasteful. don't even care oh, honestly okay. whatsoever. Like like l- it legit it's tasteful. It's not like oh unless you've seen his like special like promo cards. I swear <laughs> They're hella edgy. I swear I mean, I to care. Buddha! I swear! <laughs> That's amazing. I honestly Buddha. could care less about what I will strike you games. down with the might of Zeus! <laughs> what is with your microphone? <laughs> That's amazing. By the infinite plains of Vishnu be gone, That's foul. The- Thought. That's the Demir. <laughs> That's the Demir. I muted him. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think Ashrams, unless you wanna, you wanna count the um, promo cards, but they're like special promo cards, like. Hey, Ashrams on. Yeah. Hey. You, wanna, you wanna ask him? Yeah, yeah. Um, about what? Uh, over sexualizing female characters. Well, y- yes, but like I thought we were like narrowing that. They're only over sexualized if you view them that way. That's the way I They're see They're only over sexualized if they haven't undergone puberty yet. Okay, so hear me <laughs> out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hear me out. But like, so you got these <laughs> mofos with their, with their stupid waifu mats. They basically have to just, like, put tape over the vagina to make it, like, safe for work. <laughs> like, just a, a strip of duct tape is all they're wearing, basically. Okay, can I say something? Can yeah. I say something, bros? Yeah. Okay, um, so, so everybody complains about women being over-sexualized, but what about when guys are? Like, no one says exactly. anything. Have you so ever, unless you say have you about both ever parties noticed or just hush. That most people who play magic are men, and they don't notice when men are sexualized. I think they they <laughs> they, they, they would. 
Okay, do you feel like Garrick? A, a Look barbarian? at a Johnny. Look at a Johnny. All right. You I know what? Fur. That's one fire pussy. Let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's, he's a tabaxi. <laughs> he's a literal cat. Oh, he's a little pussy. <laughs> he's a fire pussy. He's a fire pussy. <laughs> I'm dead. No, you're not. Kill yourself. So what did you guys do for Halloween? Mm, uh, I used to at home, ate things that were on my dog. I went on a Unex Unex super epic I actually went trick-or-treating. Wait, say that oh. again. Say that again, Moz. With his... I, I went on a oh, date Moz with a super team? hot date Asian. <sighs> Let me tell you about my time with this Asian, though. No, 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 I actually want to. Okay, so. Nobody really cares that you're Did you know? I, I'm, I'm going to mute him. I'm going to mute him again. Hold on. <laughs> Let's mute him. Yeah, I'm going to mute him too. Hold on. So, I did not know this, but apparently people drive now for trick or treating. Did you know this? What? What? People what? drive to how from house to house now. What I did the not fuck. I did not know did this. This person. Oh, hey. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Hey guys, I'm sorry for this shit as podcast, but if you can leave a like, it'll it'll lead us to make another one. It'll very much help. I may unlist this, but is it still? No, don't you dare unlist it. Is it still trick or treating. If you do the opposite, driving in a white van. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but like. There was, so, there were these, just, we were just trying to go home. That's all we were trying to do, is just, I wanted to go home, mm -hmm. she wanted to go home, and okay. this just long line of trick-or-treaters for miles that we were stuck behind, and when we finally got the chance to go around them, she's telling me, like, uh, I was telling her about how I like to yell at tourists, because some people just, <laughs> at, what? at tourists, uh -huh. Because uh, I, li I live in a big city and uh, people come here and they don't know how to behave. They don't like know how the bus system works. So you like see people get kicked off because they've got like drinks in their hands or things like that. They're saying like, hey, 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 get off the bus. Like you got to like I saw this uh, this uh, just like this uh, mom and a daughter get on with like these frosties and the bus driver made them step off the bus to throw away their drinks first. Yeah. And I was thinking, this is your first bus ride. But, <laughs> so I like to mess with tourists. Uh, there was this, uh, like a week ago, I was downtown mm -hmm. with my boss, and yeah. there, there was all this construction going on, and there were these huge cranes in the middle of the street, and there were all these... Koreans? Cranes. Oh. Like construction <laughs> cranes. No, 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 no. Uh, and I leaned out the window, I unrolled the window of this car, and I leaned out and I yelled, Hey, look, it's the Eiffel Tower! And uh, I just like doing stupid stuff like that. So I was telling this person about that I like to yell at tourists. And she's like, man, somebody needs to yell at these kids then. And so I, without hesitation, unrolled the window and did like my witch scream. Have you guys ever heard my witch scream? Mm, now I would like to hear. Hold on. Okay, so this may be the end of the podcast if I do it, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have somebody come in here and yell at me. Do it. Yeah, I just, I just unrolled the window and I went, hey, kids, <laughs> you know, that, just that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> and like <laughs> these, like this group of like five kids, like jumped out of their skin and like fell, just like got up and got going. Uh, it was just <laughs> like it was a mixture between getting their attention and then forever scarring them at the same time. Yes, that's amazing. It was like half. That's beautiful. What? What's that, Mister? And then just terror. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! Oh my god! And then we just oh. yeah, Halloween. Do you? That, that's what you and by the way there are these people who had like the back of their trunks open and like six kids sitting in the back of their trunk as they're just driving along <laughs> oh my in God. their costumes and then just 
unloading like a clown car and getting out and doing cool a kid. Speed. Yeah. Cool That's kid me. wants you to do the scream again. Do, do the what scream? Ah! You know that thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. Um, that needs so, to be the video. And. This... and... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, do not watch this. Yes. Um, so we're sorry for this uh, shit podcast, Kira. Uh, if we had more time to prepare for you, we would. Yeah, dude. Uh, Honestly, yeah. we won't do something like this to somebody again. We'll just like, uh, we'll just cancel the night. Mm-hmm. And when you have more, on okay, we would love to have you on. Yeah. Nice background noise, mom. That is very... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. I have Moz muted still. Hold on. Moz is still here. I forgot he was even in yeah. the... <laughs> yeah. It sounds like <laughs> when you don't blow in the cartridge before you put it in the N64. It's like, wait a minute. I have kids? I totally <laughs> forgot I left them. <laughs> you got kids? That's what Moz is. Oh, um... Real quick, though, if you guys have any questions, please ask us. Yeah, yeah. So um, this, this is going to be close like to the. To answer your questions. This is going to be close to the end of the podcast here. If we're going to answer some questions and uh, dip. Yeah, because sorry again for this this podcast. Okay. Hey, my I'm, guy. I'm gonna, I can I cannot. But what's wrong with your mic, though? Is he actually you know, talking? His mic is a little. Uh, I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> that was so bad. No, I'm left. sorry. That, that was so cute. His little brother. Oh my god. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> if anything, that's just what makes it worth keeping up. <laughs> that was wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, who kicked Slope off the server? Chill. What? What? <laughs> He He's like, hey, can I join the server again? <laughs> yeah, oh it was Moz. It was Moz. Hold on. Hold can on. You can tell ended. Can we like? Can you like kick kick uh, a uh uh uh? How about to call him a? <laughs> can you kick Moz off the server just for him to be like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's a good question. Hey, so Cool Kid asks, uh, <laughs> God damn it, Ash. Um, well, first, Cool Kid asks, yes. what do we think about Fusion Cell ending? And then Ashram Cross asks, you guys do threesomes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I never... Oh, I, I don't okay this may, may may make me sound like an asshole but I never really um cared too much about fusion tell you know I never really like sat down and just like this is interesting I I, I, I it, to me I kind of just look like Pokemon the adult swim version yeah so, <laughs> so like what was the yeah. story going on with fusion tail Fusion I Cell, I believe, was basically like uh, his his telling without of saying Steven gay Universe. Rights. Oh, okay. Well, wow. yeah, that's what shit the the vibe it gave off was the whole SJW gay rights kind of storyline. Is there anything inherently wrong with that, or is there a no. good way to do it? Mm-hmm. There was to it. What up, Kira? Yeah, the, the, oh, the topic's cool not asks, bad. Cool kid asks if you guys do threesomes. Can I join? Cool kid, you are twelve. Um, we're sure that I, you're twelve. I, I, I don't kids know. Uh, uh, where is, is Chris Hansen with you? <laughs> we hired this twenty-five-year-old <laughs> man to act like a thirteen-year-old boy. You want to come in for milk and cookies? <laughs> no, 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 I don't you know. Do the Chris Hansen. <laughs> well, I know, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But I I like to call you Chris Hams. <laughs> um. What? So what, what? What did you uh, ever really um keep track or bothered really looking at Fusion Tell or? 
No, I never did. Like I just I just knew them just like uh tail suite, just I knew them just as uh as yeah, an admin. Yeah, yeah. You know, just that's it. Like I don't know an, a single thing about their game. Just yeah. uh like well, so the thing is is if you come off as an obnoxious person, you're less likely to have your game maybe you maybe you are going to have your game talked about <clears throat> or maybe just you but like i like, don't know i don't know saying, anything about their game specifically because yeah. they were always obnoxious and i just yeah he is know. yeah he yeah hey i've never really had a full on conversation i can't really say anything okay the only time like he doesn't seem like a bad person no yeah yeah not um, bad it's just say yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that that kind of bugs me. But that, that 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 really like, I think he's a pretty okay person. Uh, I, but yeah, his game, you know, because the theme is LGBTQ plus alphabet theme. Cool. Uh, and and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Of course, you know, it's not my cup of tea. You know, I'm bi, but you know, it's just it's not for everybody. Like I said, it kind of looked to me, it looked like an Adult Swim Pokemon. <laughs> so. <laughs> Astrum asks, uh, do you follow games on the community? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's just... Some t- okay, so, like, the thing is, is I don't want to be that asshole uh, that just, like, you know, goes, oh, this game's good, this game's bad. It's just everybody has different interests, and sometimes it's hard to keep track of, like, the hundreds of people that are in the community and know... Yeah. even Even the popular ones. I think, you know, I think it's healthy to have a few games that you're highly interested in um yeah and then you know other people that you check in on every once in a while um mm-hmm. but like uh-huh. it's i, I think it's that's moms i think it's impossible to be um invested in like literally everybody's game that's the difficult part yeah. it's like you want to give support but sometimes just like somebody's game isn't you know it's not doing anything for you and you kind of ignore it or something like that and i know that like rubs people the wrong way that uh, they don't like the uh, lack of attention that their game is getting. And I don't know how to find the balance between, you know, giving people attention for the game because I actually like it and giving people because, you know, I think everybody deserves a chance. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. The yeah, so yeah, what, is, what do the rest of you guys feel like? That's what Estrom's Cross is asking. Um, shoot, recently? Not really. <laughs> I, um, no, no, no. Just so that you guys uh, know, Moz thinks he's the first black gay female CEO. <laughs> like, like I would say right now. That's true. Uh, games I, I follow, or I, I try to, <laughs> if if I remember to, because I have bad memory, is uh, probably Ash and Cross or uh, Resolution Breakers. Whenever he uh, does do something, but I don't uh, because with with me, it's usually that. Uh, most of these games uh, pop, you know, they just pop up out of nowhere. And then it's like, okay, it's right here. I'll check it out. For example, uh, when I mentioned Point Battle, sort of recommended to me. Um, it was in my DMs. So, mm-hmm. well, not my DMs. <laughs> what am I saying? It was it was recommended to me by YouTube, and that that's how I sort of like find people. So, and the thing about you when you were saying about uh, attention, uh, like it's if if that's really what you're only um not going to find the attention uh it's just but but it does get annoying when you're putting all this work at least don't get like a little you know a little bit of feedback yeah just just i would say just keep working at it and event get it yeah mm-hmm. i i i completely agree i just yeah like i, I don't know i get frustrated yeah. Every only every once in a while, like very very seldomly, because I'm not doing it for attention. I'm just doing it because I like to do it. But then sometimes I like put some work into it and I post it, and it's like, Moz literally just writes boo, and and that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, it, on its face. Sloth is back. Yeah, Sloth is back. Sadly, he got kicked. From the <laughs> server first. I didn't get kicked. I left. You should, Why? You kick. I got really angry. For what? I don't know. Are you mentally stable? 
I I'm don't not. Think so. I'm gonna. I'm I like gonna... to think I am. Oh, sorry. No, you're... I'm gonna mute Moz. Moz is not even on. No, I'm gonna like mute him. Oh, so that he can't talk? I mean, like chat. I don't know. Just, just for me, he's mute. So yeah, I think. Actually, I think we're just going to rename this podcast to God is Dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly. Okay. No. There we go. God I think is... that next time, uh, if we go with you guys, we should have a discussion about Ash. You know that game. We should, we should review more. Yeah, I feel like we should. I feel like we, we should. Try people's games and remove yeah. I'll review more, and you know. I feel like that's yeah. something we need to do more in the community is more game reviews, more. Yeah. More. So, Whoop is that? So before you know, less <laughs> before more becomes less, uh, we'll probably like end the podcast right here. Uh, cool kid is asking what your least favorite homemade TCG card game is and why. Combo, uh, combo, uh, chasers or whatever. I think it's combo masters. It's because combo of fucking maws and that's the <laughs> name. Right? Yet that's supposed to be your favorite. That's... Yeah, I I think that's it. Probably the lowest brow game in the in the community. Yeah, Only because it... maws is in it. Don't worry, cool kid. From the one from the HCCG games that I have played, uh, uh, because none of them are bad. Um. And then there are some games that are incomplete, so I can't really say much on them. But for the ones that I have played that are technically, you know, complete, <laughs> I uh, I would say Chaos Galaxy. <laughs> All right, you wanna you wanna elaborate? Just, Here we go. <laughs> yeah, elaborate, please. Oh well, well, the 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 abilities of the planet they just don't seem. How do I say? Like besides they are some, caca. Yes, they're caca, and then the cards don't really play off of them that well, except for like maybe a few. Like I, I think Borrow does, but Sindel is probably I would. Kira, you're a, you're a pro player. Sindel is more like rogue, isn't it? Uh, honestly, Sindel, you can't really play a real Sindel deck and have a have a uh, chance of winning right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the only real, and that's with most planets in Chaos Galaxy, actually. You have to run a lot of outside support to even be able to play competitive and have a chance to even get points. So there are some yeah. clear team that I feel uh, really limit it from becoming like better game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, so Strom is asking if uh, Mango can come on to his podcast. What happened? I want to ask: Can I have Sin Mango as a guest so I can destroy his game while he tries to protect? <laughs> yeah. I give him to you. I give him to you, Strom. I mean. I can be up there, and yes, you could totally say things that are right, but at the end of the day, I can say things that it really doesn't matter what you think, because it's my game, and I can do whatever I want with it. Oh, I thought, you were, I thought you were gonna clap back. I mean, it's true. What? I mean, it's true. Shit. Alright. Do we have anything else I we want to talk about? Be a... No. No? Also, I have uh, no. Uh, maybe I can give these suggestions after the podcast. You okay. What? I think that's it, though. Um, yeah. We never even really introduced ourselves. Did we? <laughs> we started. I think we need to. Yeah, let's start right now. Also, so yeah. this was the sideboard chat with Sen Mango. We're going to Lucha School. We're going, We're going to, to Lucha, Lucha School. school. <laughs>
We're going to loot. Now I get now I get slow to talk. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, guys.